Hello, hello. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another Coffee Time with Cobra. It is me, Cobra. Coffee's in that cup. Let's have a bit of a chat. Uh, if no one said this to you yet, I'm proud of you. Keep doing what you're doing. It is 1.30 in the afternoon here in the UK. It is Tuesday. Unfortunately, I didn't get around to recording this video till today because, well, um, I kind of... Uh, I almost died. <laughs> How could I put it in any, any other simpler terms? Uh, I called 111, which is the UK's non-emergency medical helpline. And they have nurses and doctors and whatnot there that are meant to help you, okay? And I said to them, can I take melatonin, a sleeping aid, along with my um, metazapine? This is what I take for my depression. And the lady said, there's no adverse side effects listed on our system. So I'm like, great. So is that a yes? I was looking for a defined yes. The lady said yes. I was like, thank you. So I took them. I took them Friday. I woke up. It was Monday. Let me rephrase that. I took the pills Friday. I woke up. It was Monday. I had slept for 48 hours. And apparently I only got up to pee, which I don't remember doing. And I got into a verbal altercation with someone, which I don't remember doing. And through the whole of yesterday, I had this constant brain fog. Like, I was in control of my body. But at the same time, my reactions just felt like I was walking through water. If that makes sense. Like, I would um, try to respond to an email. Because I've just recently been laid off from my job. So, I'll try to respond to an email. And I'm typing like this. And I'd stop. And I swear I could still see the words being typed on the screen. As if there was like a, 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 a delay. That's literally what it felt like. It felt like there was a constant delay. Through my thought and action. And this brain fog just got worse and worse and worse and worse. No matter how much uh, 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 caffeine I took or sugar I took or anything like that. And, and it was like... It got to the point where I would I, I, I laid down and I woke up and it was four o'clock this morning. I again I had slept through down near the whole of Monday. And yet the lady at one 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 told me there would be no adverse side effects. I then called my doctor this morning. Spoke to the nurse at my doctor's office, which is just down the street from where I live. And I told her what had happened. And she said, dear God, are you, you're you lucky to be alive. I was like, what do you mean? And she goes, you're not supposed to take those two medic med medications together at all. It's one or the other, not both. You're lucky you did not overdose and die. So I was like, huh. And then... I started falling down that rabbit hole of, well, what if I did? Who would miss me? Truthfully, who would miss me? I genuinely think no one. At times, I genuinely think there's, there's, there's no one, no one would miss me. But, you know, to each their own. There's some people out there that will probably say, oh, well, I would miss you. Okay. When was the last time you checked in on me? 
When was the last time you checked in on anyone that you loved or cared about? This is why in my last series of videos in the description, and I know for a fact that some of you have checked it out and some of you haven't, there's links to suicide helplines on both the UK and the US. I don't take my, my mental health, uh, uh, my lack of mental health safety enough. I don't. This is why I've stopped doing certain things that don't bring me joy or happiness anymore. I just stopped doing them. I don't stream that much anymore because it doesn't bring me any joy. I stopped playing certain games because it doesn't bring me any joy. And I can even prove it to you. I can bring up my Steam library. Okay. And. Yeah. This is my Steam library. I have a metric shit ton of games. To play from. To play you know, and whatnot. But if I go to here. Go to installed locally. I've only got two. Warframe and Battletech. That's it. I uninstalled probably close to about 300 gigs worth of games that I just don't play. Or I get no enjoyment playing them anymore. Warframe, I get some enjoyment out of it. Mostly because I'm coming up with oddball, off-the-wall frame builds that I think, you know, hey, this, this, this works. This is kind of cool. So I'll do a quick video on it. Upload it. It gets maybe 20, 30 views. I don't care. Thank you for the views. Thank you to those 20 or 30 people that viewed my video. Thank you to, to all the people that viewed my my very poorly uh, 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 audio uh, um, video reacts series. I'm sorry. I don't know why the audio wasn't working correctly. I think it has something to do with Sony Vegas. I'm in the process of figuring that out. Because there is some other review, uh, um, you know, reviews. There is some other React videos I want to do, um, but I can't do them if the audio is not balanced correctly. I'm, I'm, I'm still learning this. I'm a one-man band, guys. Okay, I do all my own editing. I do my own thumbnails. I do my own recording. I do my own. I do do it all by myself. Okay, I do it all by myself. Okay, it's not like I, I'm, I'm secretly a multi-millionaire. I mean, for crying out loud, I live in an attic. Come on. You know? It's my birthday on... Is it this Sunday? Let me check. Uh, yeah. It's this Sunday. It'll be my birthday this Sunday. So that'd be nice. And I've got a family that live in a town called March, just outside of Cambridge. They want me to go up and see them for my birthday. Why? I I very rarely celebrate my birthday. Very rarely. Um, it took absorbent amount of teeth pulling from other friends and family and loved ones and partners of mine to get me to admit that I even have a birthday wish list. I'm not going to post it. I've posted it on the, on my on on a, on a private Discord, but that's where it's going to stay. It's not going to be public. I'm not posting it to the public, and I don't want anyone to post it to the public because I didn't even want to do it in the first place. I've got a lot more things going on in my life that I need to focus on. My schooling is one of them. The fact that I just lost my job is another one. You know. All my savings is gone since I got robbed of my um, of my bitcoins and stuff. Since someone hacked my crypto wallet and took all my stuff, so I'm down to things like twenty one twenty one pounds to my name total. I mean, I'll find a job. I'm not. I'm not worried about that. I'll find a job even if even if I have to apply at a fucking Burger King or whatever. I'll find a job. I'm not fast. I'll find a job. I'll make it. I'll make it work. I'll find a job. Yeah, I will. But times are tough all around. 
times are tough all around. And yet we got people arguing over who's the richest person on the planet. I don't care who the richest person on the planet is. Are they a good person? Are they helping the homeless? Are they helping people who need it? Of course not. What's in it for them? Exactly. That's how selfish people are. They're not in it for themselves anymore. This is why, I'm sorry, I'm sick and tired. This is why I try to stay off of places like Twitter and Facebook and stuff. Because all it is is just depressing shit. Where you're watching groups of people beat the shit out of each other. And there's more people doing this number with their phones. Recording shit. Sorry. Doing this number with their phones. Recording it. Rather than stepping in and helping. It's called civic duty. Step in. Help them. Stop it. And I think to the assholes who film it. You should be found just as guilty as the person doing the actual assault. I'm sorry. You're complicit. So I fucking hate that shit. Too many people think they're a wannabe fucking paparazzi. Doing this number. And nothing ever gets done. Nothing ever gets done. Too many people are... Too many people in this world are, are too busy being pussies. Fucking nut up! What's wrong with you people? Stop sitting on the fucking sidelines, hoping and praying and doing fuck all. Get off your ass and move shit. Do something. Get moving. Motivate yourself. Get up off your derriere and do. That's how fucking winning is done. That's how times change. Stop sitting on your ass. Hoping and praying for the better. Get off. Go. Move. Motivate. Do. Don't just fucking film shit. When you see bad shit happening. Fucking intervene. Say what the fuck is wrong with you. Do your civic duty. It really pisses me the fuck off. If I'm at a shopping centre, I refuse to call them malls. That's a that's an American thing, not a British thing. If I'm at a shopping centre and I see people acting like a fucking fool, I'm going to tell them, stop acting like a fucking fool. I don't care if it's for TikTok. I don't care. TikTok needs to go. YouTube shorts need to go. Small, short burst form factor content of... 10 seconds to a minute needs to fucking go. You are lowering. You are lowering people's IQs with that shit. They don't retain anything. They don't. You won't. If that's the case, why is school open for so many hours? Why is it not open for 10 seconds? In today's class, we're going to learn to be a complete and total fucking spastic. Come on. Use your Sorry about that. Fucking phone hit the stop button. But seriously, use your fucking brain. Use your fucking brain. And I'm sorry. It's the algorithm. No, no, no. It's a proven fact that your algorithms, okay, no matter who you are, are manipulated by the coders. So plain and simple. If you've got leftist coders, you're going to get leftist AI. You're going to get leftist machine learning. You're going to get leftist this. If you've got a right-wing person... Again, make a true neutral fucking AI. A true neutral machine learning. You can't. And you want to know why? Because you cannot get a leftist coder and a rightist coder in the same fucking room together without them tearing chunks out of each other. Why? Because they're fucking morons. Both of them. I don't care how many fancy degrees you got. I don't care how many fancy fucking p scrolls with all this fucking stamps on it from S Stanford, Harvard, Harvard, Oxford. I don't give a shit. You're a fucking moron if you seem to think that because I think differently from you, I'm your enemy. 
But because I'm left-handed and you're right-handed, that makes me the enemy. You fucking spastic. Grow up. Grow the fuck up. All of you, grow up. Just grow up. There's the old phrase, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Do you, do you understand what that fucking means? Clearly not. Because you're all a bunch of fucking pussies that are trying to find fucking... <laughs> Where's my dance space? Where's my emotional cards? <laughs> Remember, cut down the river, not across it. If you're that fucking weak-willed, you don't deserve to be on this planet. Stop breathing my fucking oxygen. Stop eating my fucking food. Seriously. You do not deserve to sit at my table. You don't. You just fucking don't. Same as asshole people that hate one another because of their religious beliefs. Look, I don't hate you because you're Muslim. I don't hate you because you're Hindu. I don't hate you because you're Catholic. I don't hate you because you're Protestant. I don't hate you at all. What I hate is the content of your character. I don't hate your faith. I don't hate your skin color. I don't hate anything else about you other than the fact that if you want to scream from the rooftops that yours is a religion of peace, yet when someone tries to leave your religion, your first thing is to kill them. That's not peaceful, is it? If someone turns out to be homosexual and you throw them off a roof, that's not peaceful, is it? Or if they're Catholic and you burn them alive in a cage, that's not fucking peaceful, is it? Is it? Is it? Same as when you get gangs together and you mob mentality one fucking person and you bully them into joining your cult. That's not group thinking. That's mob mentality. That is vile mob mentality. And I honestly think that China and Russia and other countries, uh, Iran, uh, which is which fucking surprised me when Iran did it, they're now turn they're now pulling down mosques. They're now destroying them. They're now denouncing Islam. Why? And then you get these bullshit gen whatever fucktards who can't decide what fucking gender they are. Say, oh, I've read the Quran today and it's so in tune with my inner spirit. Okay, okay, okay. Go, seriously, go to Qatar and be you and see what happens. Go to any. Muslim community like that and see what happens to you. I'll wait. Now, again, I'm not a religious person. No crucifix on me. No nothing on me. I don't care what your beliefs are. I don't. I don't care. I don't care if you believe in the flying spaghetti monster, if you believe in Cthulhu, if you believe in fucking... I, I don't care. I just don't care. Life is too fucking short, too fucking complicated to give a shit about that stuff. Bury it. Just get rid of it. It doesn't need to exist in this day and age. It doesn't. No, but you need spiritual relief. No, you don't. No, you don't. You want to know what you need? You want to know what you need? You need to go to a whorehouse for about two hours and sample everything in there. And by the time you leave, get an STD check, but you will feel better. That's all I'm going to say. Mm. On a lighter note, now that I've got that religious... BS out of the way. Uh, lighter note. Um, almost died. Covered that. Second tired of religious bullshit. Covered that. 
Um, ooh. Piss poor manufacturing. <laughs> As you guys know, I do have a 3D printer. This is the frame to my 9-inch printer. Notice that there's no FEP sheet there. Notice that all the screws are missing, bar two. This one, and this one. Why? Because they are completely fucking stripped and locked in and I can't get them out. So this frame is now junk. And I mean junk. So I am gonna have to pay Flash Forge to get a new frame because they can't seem to get away from using cheap fucking screws. Seriously. Why? Why can you not get away from using cheap fucking screws? And what's worse is they're those annoying Allen head screws. Why? Just use fucking simple Phillips screws. Simple Phillips. That's it. Phillips. It's simple. Little cross. That's it. No, you have to use Allen keys. Why? Why? Who fucking said that you get to lay down the law and say, that's what we're you? No, no, no. I, 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 I would love, fucking love to have someone out there come up with a, a, a replacement set of screws for FEP sheets that don't involve fucking Allen heads. Seriously. Seriously. I fucking mean that. That's all I want. That, that's all I want. No more fucking Allen heads. I'm done with Allen heads. Even the name Allen annoys me. Might as well call them twat screws. And I mean that. Waiting on my new... Update to hit on my Caddy Linux laptop. That's why I'm looking over there. It's because I've got my laptop. Here. So, this is Caddy Linux. Yes, I have Metasploit up. I was doing a Metasploit test on my internet connection because the other day something just didn't seem right with my terminal. It Genuinely felt like something was not not right, and so I just wanted to scan the ports. So I used Nmap and and a few other things and whatnot. And you know there was a there was a few dodgy things going on with my network. So I've got to go through and sort that out. But I don't really care because I don't want to be living here anymore. It doesn't mean I want to end myself. It just means I don't want to live in this house anymore. I want to move on. I want to find my own place. I want my own fucking house. I want my own flat. That's what I want. Ultimately, that's what I want from birthday. Is I just want enough money so that I can put down a down deposit and you know, the first and last month's rent. Blah 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 blah. You know, and just move into my own place. That's all I want. That's all I want. But that's something I don't think I'm ever going to be getting. So, anyway guys. Don't want to be all doom and gloom. I am enjoying the new Rogue Tech uh, patches that have been coming out. I have been also testing out some Escape from Tarkov uh, mods. That a friend of mine wanted me to test out on, on um, single player Tarkov. If you don't want to it's called SPI. Um, and no, I won't link it. Um, you can just Google it, SPI Aki. You can find it. Uh, and um, yeah. You need a valid copy of, uh, an up-to-date copy of uh, Escape from Tarkov. So don't think you can get a pirated copy. That's not how that works. You can't pirate the game. Um, I mean, anyone, can, any game can technically be pirated. But 
in order to play the off uh, unofficial offline mode version of Tarkov, the single player mode of Tarkov, you need an official copy of Tarkov that's up to date and patched. So yeah, there's that. Uh what else? Been doing that, playing Rogue Tech. In fact, is there? I know that the last couple of days they've been Rogue Tech's been coming out with patch after 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 patch. I end up spending more time patching than I do playing lately. No, we're currently at Lancelot one dot zero dot eight. Okay, cool. So I might play that a little bit later. Um, what else? I've been painting um, some of my 40k models um, and trying to get uh, chip it away here and there at them. Give me some of the focus on something to do. Uh, I found this really cool bitching picture of uh, Abaddon and the Despoiler. I showed it to you earlier. Uh, yeah, I found this uh, image of Abaddon and uh, I like the whole scheme layout vibe whatever you want to call it so i've been trying to match it as best i can with my abaddon with a spoiler Ooh. and um the face is going to need a few more layers yeah the face is going to need a couple of few more layers on it but uh i've also been working on The other things I took the cape off because it's I mean the cape looks the cape is fun looking and stuff but I want my Abaddon to be barebacked giggity um, so yeah I've been working on that it's not touch literally all I've done is put some primary colors on there and I'm starting to do a little bit of this and that elsewhere on the model you know to break it up make it more fun to paint but uh, once he's done and um, his base is I'm painting it separately once he's done I will be working on the banner bearer as well um, and then I want to get a copy uh, I want to get a Fabius bile a newer, newer model of Fabius bile but I want to do a, uh, a, couple, a couple of I want to do some custom sculpting on it um, I want to add in add some more hair on him and I mean I, I get it you know he's balding because he's dying blah 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 I get that but um, but I want to do a um, a version of him that's customized I want to add uh, in 30k there is a um, let me grab it in In Warhammer 30k, the Apothecaries. One of them has like this. Um, what is that? A tech priest? I think that's a tech priest. No, yeah. it's a tech priest. Well, anyway, um, the Apothecaries in 30k. Um, of course, you've got the Womble, which technically the Womble Marine helmet didn't exist in 30k they're just trying to backdate it it wasn't part of the mark 3 armor it was actually part of the mark 4 um so it was late in the heresy era um same as this helmet this helmet was late in the heresy era but point is um i want to add something similar to this to fabius bile's arm so he's got a surgeon as well as he's got his spider and a few other things and um there is definitely be heresy come on I really don't like the layout of this new bloody book no this website no 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 technically these are Horace's men um, no 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 I 
does it really matter? Just fucking show me. And there's Horus Ascended, there's regular Horus. That's the updates, that's the updates, the updates, the updates, the updates, da, 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 da. where is it? Sod it. Let me go up here. Easier of these. Oh, there's a tech marine that has like this weird, looks like a Yu Gi Oh! duelist thing, but it's like power armed onto his backpack. I wanted to have one of those added to my Phoebus bile as long as uh, with a um, um, gene seed extractor and a few other things. And, and uh, I want to say it was. Part of the limited edition stuff. Ew. No. Your website is ass. We're going to new releases. Yes, there he is. See, I wanted to have something similar to this. Uh, attached to Fabius Biles backpack while he's got the Tresurgeon in one hand and you know so he's also got the Rod of Torment as well as whatnot and so yeah so I, I don't I'm not paying 27 quid just for one part of the model uh, so let's see if I can't Yeah, see that's what I like. See, I like that. And what I was planning on doing is having it as if he's um, extracting the gene seed of like a of a um. Extracting the gene seed of a uh, Primaris. Let's see. Mm -hmm. It's close. Does he come in bits? Because if he comes in bits, it'll be so much easier for me to. that model apart just for that one bit fair enough it's fine it's fine i'll do that anyway coffee's almost done so guys coffee's done video's done i'll see you in the next one